Oh? Careful, it's probably dangerous. <laughs> what a sound effect for that moment there. Like, I get in the N64 days, they had to, like, reuse a lot of sound effects, the whole limited memory space and whatnot, so, you know, there were a lot of screams that you would hear a whole lot. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Hi, have you seen your old friends? All of them recognize you with your grown-up body, did they? That's ah, because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri. You are actually a Hylian. I'm happy to finally reveal this secret to you. <laughs> what a way to reveal it. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. I'm just gonna- am I just gonna narrate this in this voice? One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the garden spirit of the forest. Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri, and now, finally, the day of destiny has come. I don't know why he was showing the flames during that, but okay. Again, you had to like reuse things for memory <laughs> reasons back then and whatnot. You are highly and we're always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right! You must save the land of Hyrule! Now, Harmonia, break the curses on all of the temples and return peace to Hyrule! I was surprised to learn that Sari is one of the sages, wasn't it, Harmonia? I wonder how she knew. Anyway, off to the Temple of Time. Wait, the Temple of Time? Or what, are we really gonna like, meet up with Sheik again or something like that? Because it shows on the map that I can go to uh, Death Mountain or the, uh, or the Zora area, Zora River or whatever the heck. So I don't know what's up with that there. Are the Kokiri gonna be back? Maybe? Oh yeah, look, this place seems all chill and stuff now, again. Yeah, look at that. Only having a bow. Yeah, I got one. But I don't need any arrows right now. I will check if they have other things. Um, I suppose. I don't, yeah, I don't need any of these things right now. Yeah, we're A-OK. -okay. We're A-OK. -okay. Yeah, so I guess we'll head on out of the forest in that case. Is what we shall do. Away we go! Away on this wonderful adventure once again. Whoa. This way. This away. So, do I go to the Temple of Time? Or do I just go straight to Death Mountain or Zora's River? Oh! You're just chilling here still. Thanks, Epona. I appreciate ya. Alright, let's go. Like, I could just go right to Death Mountain and see what happens. Abby told me to go to the Temple of Time, but is it really all that necessary? I'm just gonna hear that I need to go to Death Mountain or the Zora River anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah, we have a fairy now, but, uh, we were the one Kokiri that didn't have a fairy, and the reason was because, uh, because we're not a Kokiri, because apparently only Kokiri have fairies, except we can now get one, or... Like, as of the beginning of the game, that is? I don't know. I don't know. Whee! Let's go! <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go to Death Mountain and see what happens. Um, Temple of Time gets you a song. Oh. Well. Oh, and I can... If I do go by that area, I can finally go to the Great Fairy Fountain that's on the way to Hyrule Castle. You know what? Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that really quickly here. All right. Let's go. Yeah, let's make a quick pit stop then, how about? Let's make just a little bit of a quick pit stop over here. Yeah, they're not gonna be raising the bridge anymore during nighttime. That's not gonna be a thing anymore. Considering the bridge over here is kinda all borked and stuff, you know? Alright. 
Let's go this way. Away we go. Alright, if you guys could just like not maybe, I hate you guys so much. These guys give me so much trouble as a kiddo. They gave me so much trouble forever ago. Okay. Yeah, let's uh let's see what's going on over here, huh? Let's see what's happening. Temple of time. So what do you want me to do here? Navi. This is what you want me to do here, huh? Don't know why I didn't put a main objective marker on the Temple of Time here. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. This is going to introduce the thing about putting the Master Sword back. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. If you want to challenge the mighty foes you've defeated again, make for the bed in your childhood home. In the realm of dreams, you should be able to face them anew. Oh! This game had a replayable boss feature? That's cool. I don't- That's one of the things I don't remember about this game. That's neat. I, uh, I don't remember if that was, you know, in the original, original game or not. But hey, a 1998 game, at least this 2011 game, and possibly this 1998 game having a replayable bosses feature? That is cool. That is nice. Something that a lot more modern games should have the ability to. <coughs> Elden Ring. Um, time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. Ah, another fast travel then. The song to return you to the Temple of Time. The Prelude of Light. Okay. There. <laughs> Probably heard my dog shaking in the other room there. There I go, you've learned the prelude of light. Sweet. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Harmonia. We shall meet again. Alright, see ya. Alright, I don't think I need to return to the world of the past right now. I don't believe so. Whoa. Nice render distance. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can just skedaddle on out of here for now. I believe. Don't tell me that I need to be child link for the uh, great fairy fountain that that Carvian nerd was telling me about on the way to the castle. I think I just need bombs. Bombs? Rope? Lamp oil? Gosh darn it! Yeah, let's have a look-see over here. Oh. Maybe I do need to switch back to Child Link for that then. Or maybe it's just one of those over there. Maybe I should have come over and checked this out earlier. Maybe what I should have done. <laughs> yeah, Hyrule Castle sure has changed. My goodness. Ganon's Castle. Well, yeah, that's certainly something. All right, let's have a look-see over here because I feel bad that I've kept on forgetting to do this. Why is my camera, like, extra zoomed in? Way more than it normally would be. Let's see here. How about I just slap this there for now? Something or other. Wait. Oh, I hear ya. I heard ya. I heard ya crawling around over there. This is the thing that you need, like, the ultra-lifting thing for Bob to be able to do. Check. Yeah, I can't grab right now. So, I mean... Yeah, maybe it is a Child Link thing. Yeah, maybe it is. I don't know. I'll try here as well. 
is it one of the weird ones where it's like you need the camera facing it? I'll try one more time. Okay, yeah, maybe I uh, maybe I will do the good old switcheroo. So let's just go back. This is what we do. Yeah, let's go ahead and go to the past, and then I'll look over here for that great fairy fountain that I've apparently been like forgetting this whole time. So let's go. Guess I can't roll up the stairs there. Slightly too steep. All right. Yeah, let's uh let's try this out. Let's give it a bit of a shot. So yeah, Ocarina of Time was like one of the first games that had you know, a big plot element like this, that was also a gameplay element, what with you being able to like switch back and forth. Which was a neat kind of thing. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's see about this supposed great fairy fountain on the way to the, uh, on the way to Hyrule Castle. That, that Carvia nerd told me to go check out. Let's go see about this, how about? Butterflies, whoa. Yeah, let's have a let's have a bit of a look see. So somewhere around here, huh? I don't think I can use the hookshot as a kiddo. It would be cool if I could just like hook shot up a bit higher. Yeah, I can't use the hook shot. I cannot do that. So somewhere around here. Like this? This what it is? Um, dead end or is it or is it though it is no dead end you lied to me you're just hiding a super secret over this way yep it is a thing for Bob so what does this one give huh uh, I don't quite remember um, let's see here there there that that thing or Bob, and then we'll get like a new power and it'll be great. Let's get stronger. There we go. I finally remembered to do the thing here. Yeah, totally not creepy at all. Definitely not. Who's responsible for freaking great fairies in Zelda anyway? Being the way they are. Welcome, Harmony. I'm the great fairy of magic. I'll give you a magic spell. Please take it. What spell is this gonna be? Winning Guardian Leviosa. What have we here? We have. Whoa! You got Din's Fire. It's Fireball engulfs everything. It's attack magic you can use with those. Okay. You can use Din's Fire not only to attack but also to burn things. All right, that'll be handy if I need to call on Flame in a pinch. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. All right, see you later. All right, neat. Neat, neat. We now have two spells. Heard a sweet. All right. I don't think that. Is there anything that I, else that I want to do as a, you know, child Link here? I don't think that there's anything that I can do with Mr. Song of Storms, Dudo, right now. I think I probably gotta show my ocarina as an adult. Probably. I don't know. I don't know there. Let's go. Let's go. Places to be. We are in a very important and busy kiddo or something. Okay. Let's just jump over that. Yeah, let's go this way. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I can't target and say hi to you, unfortunately. Can't seem to do that. I guess I could have just used the song to come back. Is what I could have done. Alas. But alas. <laughs> Rolling over that is a bit weird sometimes. All right. Now we go back. We have a new spell. So back we go. Yeah, it's gonna be mostly adult Link for the rest of the playthrough, but there will be snippets where we have to switch back to child Link. There will be some. Okay. 
So, the volcano now? Maybe. Whoa. Let's go. I wasn't sure if that was going to work or not. I'm glad that it did. Very quite glad that it did. Okay. Yeah, let's go on to the next area now. How about... I got past through Kakariko on the way there. That's what I'm going to need to do. So I'll have a little bit of a chat with Song of Storms, man. As we're passing through. Squeezy! Gosh darn it! Do I just mash? I don't know if mashing does anything there. Wow, it took off three of my hearts. Unbelievable. Pretty insane, if you ask me. All right. Hi. All right. Let's return to Death Mountain once again. How about? It's been a while since we've been there, and by a while, I mean last stream. Let's go. All right, so hop down. And then off we go. And then off and away we go. So, Mr. Song of Storms, man. If I show up my ocarina, he'll have a bit of a what for for me. Apparently. What? That is a wall. That is a wall. I should not be running into a wall. So yeah, let's go to the windmill first. This way first. Up we go. This way. Mr. Dudo. Hi there. It's the question mark place. What? You got an ocarina? What the heck? Reminds me of that time seven years ago. Like when a mean kid came here and played a strange song and messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. Okay. There we go. One of the most iconic songs of this game, the Song of Storms. There we go. Another new song acquired. You've learned the Song of Storms. Okay, well, I'll do something about that as Child Link later, but for now, I love how it's just raining in here. Is the windmill going faster? I think I gotta ride this around this way, yeah. Neat. Neat, neat. Okay, so. Wait, there are three objective markers on the map now? Is one here in Kakariko Village? Is that for uh, signifying as like Child Link to come here and play the Song of Storms? Maybe, I don't know. Whoops, got a little bit antsy there. Hi. Please, with that, sell me the contents of a bottle. I, my wallet's full. We established this before. Whee! Okay, up the mountain. Up we go. So, what's going on up here nowadays, huh? Any hearts? No. No hearts. No hearts to be had. What's going on in the land of Death Mountain, then? That's the question over the day. There'll be a, a new, gosh dang it, dungeon around here. Of some sort. So, where am I going to be able to find it? Is the question of the day. What? What? What is it? Thought over Death Mountain, there's something strange about it. Yeah, that's why I've come over here. That's why I'm over here. I'm checking it out. Checking things out here. Seeing what's up. What is up? So what's going on over here? The Goron's still chilling. Looks like something used to be set in this stand. Where? Where's the Sculptula? I hear one. I know I hear one. I don't know where, though. Oh my goodness, the underside. Sneaky, sneaky. It sounded like it was close. Whoa, I did not mean to pull myself over, but okay. But okay, I guess. Um, should I check in here? Check. Standing on soft carpet for guests. Feel so plush under your... Or, I don't even know. Under your feet. I mean, I could pull out one of my actual bombs here. 
That's what I could do, but I mean, whoops. Is that gonna be close enough? Gosh, darn it. I just wanted to drop is what I wanted to do. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind, I guess. Okay. I'll take some things, sure. Where's that one, like, destructible wall? Oh, I saw there earlier. It's on a higher level, right? I believe it was on a higher level. I believe. It was here. Here is where it was. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. The double, the double bomb wall, I guess. Oh my goodness, the triple bomb wall. Thank goodness I had enough bombs. Goodness for that. Oh my good gracious, how many, how many walls are there to blow up here? Oh, hi. I just completed a small weapon. How about it? How about buying this knife for 200 rupees? I don't even have that much uh, wallet capacity. Hmm, I might have to consult the tome. This is what I might have to do. Maybe, maybe. No! I wanted to have a chat. That's what I wanted to do. Got a little bit of insight on what the heck is going on here. I wanted to talk. Gosh darn. Also, I haven't saved in a little while, so it's safe. Because it has been a little while since doing so. All right, back to consulting the tome. Let's see here. So last left off in the forest temple there. So you're just gonna turn around and not run into me, right? Yeah, cool. Um, let's see here. Before the fire temple, you can go to Lake Hylia and talk to the scarecrows. Um, okay, there's a wait. Use your hookshot to catch, latch on, and pull yourself to a hard to reach ledge or platform. It doesn't actually say if you get anything for doing that. I'm in Kakariko Village. There's the dudo with the gold sculptures or whatever. Death Mountain Goron City. After taking care of business in Kakariko Village, it's time to start heading for the Fire Temple. This leads you back to Death Mountain along the way. You stop at the entrance to Dragos Cavern and ride the plants growing where you planted magic beans as a child. Oh, I, I, I didn't do that. Uh, inside Goron City, look for Hot Rod, or he's still there rolling around while the lower tiers inside the city. Drop down to his level and repeat the same technique for stopping him out from under the outcropping. I don't know what the technique is, though. Blow up the rolling Goron? When you stop the Goron, you discover that it's not Hot Rodder at all. It's, oh. Okay. So I do need to talk to that dudo, but I need uh, to blow him up, apparently. Apparently. Well... Oh, I had a, a thing came off of my, uh, my shelf here recently. It's just a screw that's coming out because the cap on it isn't there anymore. I can take the cap from one of the other ones and put it there so it's a more flat surface and doesn't, you know, damage this book or anything like that. But makes you wonder where the cap went. Makes you wonder, unless that's this that I see on the ground over here. It is. It is indeed. My shelf lost this little cap thing, Rebob. Well, thank goodness that wasn't just gonzo forever. Thank goodness for that. Let me fix my shelf there real quick. There we go. Jeez. Okay, well, um, I only have three bombs, so, like, I'm gonna save state. I'm gonna be royally screwed if I, uh, you know, don't get this then. Can I just run into him with it? This is gonna be darn near impossible. If that's what's going on here. What? Getting tired, I sure I want to take a break and rest for a while. Yeah. Gosh dang it! <sighs> Unless I can just like shoot the uh. Well, let's blow these up. Wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well. So. We step back at these a bit more. I don't know. So if he comes around. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, I can't believe you've done this. How could you do this to me? You, you're Ganondorf's servant. Hear my name and tremble. I'm Harmonia, hero of the Gorons. Wait, what? Hi. What? Your name is also Harmonia. And you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and hero Harmonia. My dad is Darunia. Do you remember him? Dad named me Harmonia after you because you're so brave. It's a cool name. I really like it. Well, yeah, you're a hero to us, Gorons. So glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend Harmonia of the Gorons. Oh, I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone. My dad, Darunia, went to the fire temple. A dragon is inside. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. Boo hoo! You better try to calm him down if you can. Maybe he'll calm down if you talk to him. Wait, uh, ask him about the dragon? One time ago, there was an evil dragon named Fulvagia living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary. It ate Gorons. You see a huge hammer, the hero of Gorons. Boom! Destroyed just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. I know because my dad is a descendant of the hero. Boo hoo! Um, about the Gorons? Everyone was taken to the fire temple. My dad was out. Gandor's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagia. Dad said that Gandorf has revived Volvagia. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Gandorf is going to feed them all to Volvagia. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to try and save everybody. Please help Harmonia. I give you this heat resistant tunic. Oh, wasn't that the thing that was like super expensive in the shop? I heat Gora got a Goron tunic. This heat resistant tunic is adult size, so it won't fit a kid. Going to a hot place, no worries. Oh, maybe the expensive one in the shop is the kid sized one. Maybe. Okay. 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 But yeah, I uh, I don't know if there's a uh, any advantage to wearing the green one after you unlock the other ones down the line. But hey, we got the red one. We got the red. We're red now. Was it this way? 